Well, you have to use your gifts. You know, faith without works. Going to a in a movie in 1986. I called it the they couldn't Oprah finds herself in the midst of a heated controversy as Taraji, joined by a cadre of African-American actresses, raises allegations of underpayment against her. This outcry has garnered the backing of influential figures such as Denzel Washington and 50 Cent. What precipitated these accusations against Oprah? And how are black artists reacting to them? What catalyzed this latest development in the Hollywood saga? Let's delve into the details. But before we proceed, be sure to subscribe to our channel and activate the notifications for additional updates and content just like this. Now let's get going. Opportunity. And that's why this is such a victory. Uh, tomorrow, you will hear me doing the Taraji P. Henson recently took the lead in The Color Purple, a musical drama produced by Oprah and set in 2023. This poignant narrative delves into the struggles of a black woman in the southern United States during the early 1900s. Interestingly, this marks the second adaptation of Alice Walker's novel since its original release in 1985, with Oprah herself appearing in the earlier version. Despite this, fans were captivated by the fresh take on the story. However, what followed was truly unexpected. During an interview on Gail King's Sirius XM radio program, Gail, who was Oprah's closest confidant, asked Taraji about her future plans in acting. Taraji's response was a moment of profound vulnerability. She paused, covering her face with her hands, tears welling up. This raw emotion was striking, especially considering previous instances where Taraji seemed visibly disheartened, such as during promotional appearances for The Color Purple. These moments raise the question, what lies behind this apparent melancholy? I'm not going to belittle myself, my talent, and my worth. I know that I can at least bring you $500,000 in, in ticket sales, right, if right. not more. Right. However, insider information has surfaced alleging that Oprah failed to compensate Taraji adequately for her work. Reportedly, tensions escalated between the two during a heated argument on stage. While it may be challenging to reconcile such claims with Oprah's typically affable public persona, it's a reminder that appearances can be deceiving. Taraji's response to this issue was anything but passive. During another interview, this time at the SAG After Foundation, she seized the opportunity to address the importance of maintaining enthusiasm even in the face of perceived indifference. It was during this conversation that she made a particularly shocking revelation, the belief that black performers struggle to earn substantial incomes due to the perceived lack of marketability of their stories abroad. This notion is as perplexing as it is troubling. So what's the real story behind these revelations? It's tired. tired. Yeah. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I get that. I get that. It wears on you, you know? Because mm -hmm. what does that mean? Mm -hmm. What is Taraji has previously expressed dissatisfaction with her compensation in the industry. As far back as 2019, she openly admitted her disappointment with the $100,000 paycheck she received for her role in David Fincher's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Despite starring alongside A-list actors Kate Blanchett and Brad Pitt, Taraji, known for her tenacity, managed to negotiate her fee up to $150,000, still falling short of the $500,000 she had hoped for. You did Benjamin Button. That was you, 150. Right. Okay, so let me break it down because okay. I remember some people were like, 150, she greedy, that's a lot of money. Let right. me break now, this down for break you, it down. okay? When you start making that kind of money, Uncle Sam takes 50%. Mm -hmm. so this incident is particularly striking considering her Oscar nomination for her performance in the same film. It's disheartening to see an actress of her caliber still grappling with issues of unequal pay in her profession. One can only imagine the challenges faced by newcomers attempting to break into the industry. After all the movies, yeah. How about that? Tyler Perry, a black man, was the first person to pay you what you were worth. Yeah. Can you the, tell me? That was what I was asking for. Wow. Because I, I wasn't a greedy person. I, I, I understood the game. I know that I can't make as much as a certain person has been in the game longer than me has proven box office success. This next revelation comes as a surprise. Despite being a prominent figure in the black community, 
Oprah Winfrey is facing accusations of perpetuating prejudice against actors of color. You might wonder why Taraji Henson doesn't directly confront Oprah about these allegations. The reality is, speaking out against someone of Oprah's stature could spell disaster for Taraji's career, as history has shown with other well-known figures. Take, for example, Monique, an Oscar-winning actress whose career suffered after Oprah labeled working with her as troublesome, allegedly spreading gossip alongside Tyler Perry. This fallout stemmed from Monique's refusal to participate in unpaid press events surrounding the Oscars. It's evident how detrimental the rumor mill can be to an actor's livelihood. One might question the necessity for actors to attend promotional events that fall outside the scope of their contracts and offer no compensation. Right when it comes to them zeros on the check. Monique's career has languished for over a decade, with Oprah being a significant contributor to her struggles. Monique is still seeking a public apology from both Tyler Perry and Oprah for their alleged role in her career downturn. Unfortunately, she's not alone in feeling wronged by Oprah. The list of African-American celebrities who have faced similar issues continues to lengthen. Surprisingly, even Taraji's co-stars such as the talented Halle Berry and the exceptional vocalist Fantasia Barrino reportedly didn't receive the compensation they were rightfully owed by Oprah. These revelations undoubtedly prompt important questions about who is advocating for these black actresses' rights. If Oprah was watching this, what would you tell her? I would say, Oprah Winfrey, you know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments. What is that black nigga to that black man? So no, I was not black bold. I was white bold. <laughs> Fortunately, Taraji and others are not facing this battle alone. They have a formidable ally in the great Denzel Washington, along with several other notable figures. These voices are not staying silent. They are speaking out against Oprah and standing up against the unjust treatment of black artists who pour their hearts into their work. Denzel has long been a champion for black artists in the industry. His passionate stance against racism is well documented, highlighting how it distorts and confuses society. In contrast to Oprah's displays of wealth as a form of benevolent charity, Denzel's action speaks volumes about his genuine dedication to uplifting black communities. His involvement with Save Africa's children is a testament to his sincere commitment. Moreover, Denzel isn't afraid to confront injustices within Hollywood where influential figures like Oprah can manipulate reality and coerce black actors into roles that clash with their moral principles. In a recent interview, he delved into the unsettling aspects of the film industry, even recounting a role he was offered back in 1986. Shedding light on the pressures actors face to compromise their integrity for success, Got a part in a movie in 1986. I called it the they couldn't. I said, right, that ain't funny. So to me. In the film, Denzel Washington's character, a black man, finds himself falsely accused of taking advantage of a white woman. The plot twists further as his character faces the threat of being hanged and electrocuted, yet emerges as a hero in an unexpected turn of events. It's a narrative filled with unexpected layers. However, what truly rattled Denzel was not the on-screen drama, but rather the cavalier attitudes displayed by certain Hollywood stars during auditions. Despite the promise of a hefty paycheck, Denzel walked away from a controversial role that he found lacking in humor and integrity. This decision proved wise, as evidenced by his acclaimed performance in Cry Freedom, where he courageously defied the demeaning stereotypes that some of Hollywood's elites sought to impose on African-American actors. Denzel's refusal to compromise his principles earned him an Oscar nomination, a testament to his unwavering determination and integrity. It's a testament to his true grit, wouldn't you agree? Denzel's situation has brought widespread attention to a concerning question. Are black performers being coerced by Hollywood elites into compromising their morals? This issue is especially pertinent when considering influential figures like Oprah, who wield significant power in the industry. Are their intentions truly aligned with the best interests of artists of color? In a show of solidarity, celebrities such as Denzel Washington, 50 Cent, and others are rallying behind Taraji and other black actresses who have spoken out about their experiences.
Rumors suggest that Denzel even extended an invitation to Taraji to join his inner circle, further highlighting the support of those facing adversity in the industry. Interestingly, some fans have begun to piece together a compelling narrative noting 50 Cent's previous public criticism of Oprah for her questionable actions. He has been vocal about his belief that she prioritizes safeguarding the interests of white predators while betraying black actors. This isn't the first time 50 Cent has openly criticized Oprah, suggesting a history of discord between the two. And they offered me $600,000. He said, I'm not going to tell you that, Denzel. He says, but I can tell you this. The first two or three or four films you do in this business will dictate. In a recent interview with The Guardian, 50 Cent expressed his disdain for Oprah, accusing her of misrepresenting his music as ignorant. His argument raises a valid point. Why shouldn't artists be allowed to share their personal struggles and memories authentically, even if they are challenging? It's noteworthy how figures like 50 Cent and Denzel Washington don't hesitate to critique Oprah, believing that she has primarily used her platform to amass wealth and exploit her position. One can't help but wonder about the apparent shift in Oprah's activism, considering her own experiences with prejudice. While she was once a vocal advocate for racial equity, her focus seems to have changed as her fame grew. This perceived change in priorities may lead some to question whether she misrepresented her intentions to advance her career. Insiders have also alleged that Oprah treats white and black artists differently within the industry. So why aren't celebrities like Denzel calling her out by name? The answer may lie in the potential consequences of challenging someone as influential as Oprah. Crossing her could be career suicide, as she holds a unique status that few dare to confront directly. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this.